dietitian. In a previous video, I showed you how our family makes our freezer meals. And one of the meals we did in that video was a frittata. And I had some additional questions on details in that process. So I decided it warranted a video to show you more closely how that works. So you're going to see tonight how we get the vegetables ready, get the eggs and the cheese and everything in the freezer bag. And then obviously that gets frozen. And then at the end you will get to see, we'll take out one of the meals and you'll and cook it. So you'll get to see the full process to fruition. So I hope you enjoy. The really neat thing about frittatas and quiches is that you can really use just about any vegetable you have around. So we happen to have some scapes left from the ones that we grew this summer. So here you can see Patch prepping them to get ready to saute. So we did saute these a little bit ahead of time um, just to get them cooked a little bit and get a little, bring out a little more of the flavor. So he cut off the tips and then the woodier stem um, and then sauteed those in a little bit of olive oil. And then in a minute, you'll see him chopping some shallots. So this particular quiche had garlic and shallots, so it had some really awesome flavors. But whatever you have around, you can kind of throw in. And if you want to saute it a little bit in a pan ahead of time, that's great. You can also use frozen veggies. So in the next video that you'll see, Patrick's gonna use some frozen broccoli. So it's really reasonably priced. It's super easy to do. And um, like I said, you can pretty much just use whatever you have lying around. So here um, you can see us kind of chopping things. Patrick's sauteing a little bit. Um, so that takes a little bit of time um, in the beginning. And then he got his freezer bags ready and you can see the big stacks of eggs sitting there. Uh, ready to go, ready, ready to be cracked into the bag. So next you're gonna see a little more detail on how he fills up the bags and gets them ready to be frozen. So I'm gonna start filling one of my batches while my sauteed onions are cooling down. You don't wanna put anything sauteed immediately in. So this batch is gonna be three cups of vegetable and that's gonna be frozen broccoli. Then I'm gonna do two cups of cheese and I'm gonna follow it up with cream and egg. Now one of the things that Jamie and I do differently when we do a mass cook night, and it's a matter of personal style, Jamie gets tired doing one thing again and again and again, but I'm gonna stand here and I'm gonna fill six bags with three cups of broccoli each. And then I'm gonna fill th six bags with two cups of cheese each. And then I'm gonna fill six bags with two cups of cream, full fat dairy each, and then the eggs. And I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna do each ingredient one at a time until I've got them all done. This way the meals are consistent. And frankly, I think that it's a little bit more efficient with my time. I don't mind standing there and chopping a whole bunch of an ingredient, I know, but each way is perfect. Wow, that's a cup and a half. And I'm just gonna keep working my way through the broccoli and then I'm gonna work my way through the cheese and then I'm gonna work my way through the eggs. And that's just how I try to be efficient with these. The next steps in the process involve filling the bags. So Patrick added dairy. It, it, he used full fat cream. You could use 2% milk or even a non-dairy milk if you're lactose intolerant. Then he added cheese. Again, you could skip the cheese or do a different whatever che cheese you choose. And we will put some recipes in the description. And next he cracked all the eggs, so that takes some time, and then added seasoning. And as you see, he's not measuring, so you can you know, adjust the seasoning after you cook it, but you do want to add a little bit. And then he, what he's doing is he's taking the bags once they're sealed, and he's um, kind of shaking the eggs and, and getting them so that the, the yolks get broken, because you don't want these whole yolks in the bag. Um, and then he finishes that process up and seals all the bags and we're all set. All right, so we have decided to use one of the meals that we froze a few weeks ago um, and make a nice quick, you know, Saturday morning, Sunday morning breakfast. 
Um, so first we're going to get, we've got a carbon steel pan, so we're just going to make sure to get it nice and oiled so that the eggs don't stick to it. Um, we warm the pan. You skip this step, or if we, we're using a cast iron, which you could use a cast iron for this as well. Um, if you skip this, then you will have eggs. We're going to need a little butter too, so we do the oil first and then some butter. But the eggs would stick pretty, pretty well if you didn't do this. Okay, so that's ready to go. And then we've got our bag that we prepped a while back. And we just thawed it, you could thaw it over in the refrigerator. We actually thawed it overnight in the refrigerator, but it wasn't quite there. So we just put it in a cool water bath for a little while and that helped finish. And I always cut all the way across the top because otherwise the eggs get stuck. Water there, okay. And then you just wanna get it in the pan. And then you just gotta work out all the, the rest of those veggies. And the cheese is already in here, so this is ready to go. Got all the seasonings and everything. So this is a super easy and super economical way to do a nice warm breakfast. And then we've got our oven set to 400. I'm just gonna distribute the, the broccoli a little bit better. And I'm trying not to scrape the bottom of the pan to keep that oil and butter where it needs to be. Okay, so now, oh, this one. get this in the oven, in the center, and we'll let that cook 30, 40 minutes. You want to just check and make sure everything's firm through the middle, um, and then our breakfast will be ready to go. Okay, so now we're, it's been about 30, 25, 30 minutes, we are going to check our uh, frittata for doneness. Got some awesome golden brown color, and the middle is pretty firm. That's usually the last to um, cook, so this looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this, let it sit for a few minutes, and then we will serve from, with, some, with some fruit. So we let our frittata sit for around five minutes, and then I went ahead and plated it. All right, I just want to show you how nice this is when we take it out of the pan. So I just use a knife and then I'll take a pie server and hopefully I have sufficiently, uh, looks like I have, oh, beautiful. <laughs> so, you know, leaves totally clear. So as long as you have a pan that can go in the oven, you know, that doesn't have any plastic on it, you are good to go. And then we are going to serve it with some fruit for an awesome, easy, quick breakfast that we didn't even have to make that day. I hope you enjoyed this latest video of At Home with the Dietitian. I will be sure to put a recipe in the description as well as a link to the freezer um, vacuum sealer that we use. And thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and smash that notification bell so that you get notified when I post the next video.